It's the first tactic download of the season on the channel and it's a boomer that did this. How's it going folks? Hope you are well. Now if you're new to the channel, this is the Stinger channel. My name is Neil. On this channel you can find tactics, role guides, bit of let's play action all sorts so today we're going to do our first tactic download video now this video is inspired by my recent series on build a tactic so recently we built a 4-3-1-2 stroke diamond tactic so i thought you know what let's give it a go myself in a full season now this isn't your normal download a tactic video yes i'm going to give you the tactic to download shortly you don't have to wait around for it the download is below but if you want to wait and sit through the video i'm going to show you different alternatives to use on this tactic and where you can possibly change things for yourself to make it your own. So there is Chiro Immobile who managed to bag, I mean I put 50 in the thumbnail, but he got 61 overall in 52 games, 50 in Serie A, a notoriously hard league to score, right? Not anymore. Now if I had to choose one tactic, one tactic to put my life on the line and choose, it would be this shape here. There is the tactic, there is the team instructions. If you want to get dirty and get down and dirty and go with it now, away you go, downloads below, but please do sit through the video because there'll be some important points you need to know. But coming up, we've got an explanation of the formation. We've got different roles that you may need to switch to and we've got the four key roles and positions in this formation that you need to nail the right players for to make this formation tick. So there's Lazio, champions with 92 points, Immobile with 50 goals. If we look in a bit more detail, you can see they scored 105 goals, only losing two games by a goal. Now, that's all well and good because Lazio are quite good. They're not one of the absolute pinnacles, so it's still quite impressive. But what about a lower league team? So we have a look at 14th place, Sampdoria. Ran it with Sampdoria, let's have a look. There is Sampdoria finishing fifth, one point outside the Champions League. Now you saw the last game where I was Lazio, they finished 14th, so it's a bit of a glow up. And top scorer in the league was the, La the Sampdoria striker, sorry, Caputo with 25 and 37. Now if you bear in mind the guy's 34 years old and the tactic is quite a high press, that's a pretty damn impressive return. And also fifth in the league, but top of the league in terms of goal scoring. 85 goals scored, including 10 against Bologna. It's a goal scoring tactic, all right. The eagle-eyed amongst you will know a slight tweak in that tactic for Sampdoria as well, which we're going to get to next. But first, I wanted to check this tactic with a lower league team. So let's go to England and League 2. And possibly, possibly the most impressive of the bunch. Forest Green take down the title in League 2 with 103 points. As we look at it closely, you can see goal scoring, no problem at all. 114 goals. They had the title wrapped up ages ago. They won it by 20-odd points. The tactic has definitely got legs. For all teams. Like I said at the start, if you want to know how to build this sort of tactic, there's a full series, a full playlist in the channel called Build a Tactic, where we cover all the different tactics, and this was the last one we did. I mentioned at the start the four key positions and roles, and we're going to go into that now. These players, if you get them right, this tactic will fire. The first one, pretty obvious since we focused on it from the start, is your striker, your advance forward up top. Now what he's going to do, he's going to push the lines, he's going to move around and he's going to move space for your shadow striker as well. But he is the main goal scoring threat. So you need him to be as good as you can get. Like, I mean, we're not all going to get an immobile, but you saw the others. We had the top scorer for Sampdoria as well. Just need a quality player. Finishing, movement, off the ball. Just look for the perfect advance forward and do what you can get on your budget. So your striker is hugely important, as you can see. Immobile with 50. There's Francesco Caputo. He battled in 29. And over in England, Matty Stevens, 28 in 53, top scorer for League Two. So you can see different levels of striker there, but all still doing the business. Matty Stevens is obviously no Chiri Immobile, but he's still bagged in close to 30 goals, so you need to get that striker right. Right, the next one is one of your main providers, and it's in his midfield three, and it's your Mazala. Now, if you look at SMS, the season he had was pretty ridiculous. There he is, playing as a Mazala, 21 goals, eight assists beautiful he's going to be a big scoring threat and an assist as well for Sampdoria I use Antonio Candreva now a lot of people would think of Candreva as a winger which is fine but he can also play in the middle as well now there's a lot of cross attributes there between a Mazzara and a winger so that's a good little guide as well those two things can kind of combine even if you need to retrain a player which we kind of did when we get to Forest Green but if you can see from Candreva here 
He's got seven goals in his 36, so less goals than SMS, but more assists. So you're going to get one or the other, and it's a really good threat to have. 16 assists, 20 overall. He had an absolute barnstorming season with an average rating of 7.41. Over to Forest Green, and this is the toughest one because Mazala's at this sort of lower league level and not in abundance, they're not going to be extra spectacular. So I actually found Forest Green's Mazala, Alan here, in the development centre. He's only young, he's 21, he wants to play up there, but I've got him to play in here. And you can see he's had a decent little season, 7 goals and 11 assists, with an average rating of 7.09 from that central midfield position. I mean, that's with a player who's not amazing. So if you can get a Mazala lower league, who's just a little bit notch up over Allen there, you're going to be absolutely laughing. And that brings me to the last two important positions and roles, and it's your wing backs. Your wing backs are going to cover all the ground up here, give a bit of distraction from when we're playing through the middle. They're absolutely vital, and they should come up with some big time assists, such as High Sarge here with 10 assists down the left hand side, 7.4 average rating, and Lazari on the other side with 18 assists with a 7.35 average rating. Sampdoria. Also hugely impressive with Berezhnitsky. He's got quality 8 assists with 7.10, but on the other side, Orgello. Average rating, player of the season of 7.5, assists of 12. Them two boys will provide the width. Now the most impressive was, in fact, Boris Green. And these ratings are wild. Now what I did with the left-hand side, Cadden, was he was a winger, and I retrained him back to be a fullback in pre-season. You can see that he wants to play there. I retrained him there, and it was perfectly done because he got an average rating of eight, eight over 41 games with 18 assists. And on the other side, he was even outdone on the assists by the other side from Kane Wilson, who come up with 21 assists and 7.77 average rating. I mean, blinding, blinding stats. Now, I love this formation, but there are things you can do to change it. Now, for me, the setup, the shape, and the team instructions are solid. They don't need tweaks, but you can tweak some of the positions and roles if you see fit. For example, up front, I've got a target forward with my advanced forward. This position here, I want to either drop off, like the target forward does, or I want to roam around, possibly like a false nine or a trek Batista would do. Now, if you look at Miraki here, he didn't have the greatest of seasons. Five goals only, eight assists, granted immobile swallowed up all the goals, but his average rating wasn't great either, so there could have been a better player to use there. Lazio didn't have a great deal of options. So I thought, why not try another season with a slightly different role up front? And I used the Trequatista. This is the Trequatista season, and Chile Mobley actually scores 63 goals in this. Again, another 50 in the league, 63 overall. Lazio again won the league, so the shape, the team instructions, is solid. Now, up front next to Immobile, like I said, I used the Trequatista in Andre Anderson. And personally, he had a better season than the target forward, scoring 12 and assists 7 in 36 games. But as a team... As a team, the team actually lost more games. They lost seven. So that gives me food for thought on better roles to use. They're still banged in 108 goals, but they still lost a couple more games rather than using a drop-off forward as opposed to a Roma. For Sampdoria, I tried it with a deep line forward. Main reason I did that was the forward options at Sampdoria was Quagliarella, who is a superb technical player. Did the business. 11 goals, 5 assists. Now you've got to remember, Quagliarella is 39 years old. He's up front with Caputo, who's 34. And they're getting assisted by Kandreva, who's 35. So for them boys to finish fifth and top scorers in the league that season, it's pretty damn impressive. The final one I'd think about changing is the middle of the three midfielders. So I've got a deep line playmaker on support. So it's still a pretty aggressive formation. We're still pushing, pushing, pushing. If at any point I needed to hold on to a lead, perhaps I would drop him into a deep line playmaker on defence, just so he's a bit more solid or even drop him even further back central midfielder on defence just to hold his position and just get a bit more tight. Now the main reason I put this section in is just to show you that you can change the roles depending on what players you have. You don't have to force them into that role. I would say the four roles I identified as being key, try your best to keep those, but the others, play around with it a bit. Keep the shape, keep the team instructions, see what you come up with. And that's the goal scoring machine tactic. Absolutely love that tactic. It is my go-to. You can see it did wonders with Serie A with a big team, Serie A with a mid to low team and down in League 2 with Forest Green. If you enjoyed that, please do consider sticking around the channel, drop us a sub, and I shall see you soon.